Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome back to episode 3 of Guitar Gubbins, the show where we check out some of the weirder products in the world of guitar accessories. Today we're going to be checking out an Amplug headphone amplifier. This one that I've got here specifically is modelled on a Vox AC30. I've chosen this specific one for a reason that we'll get into later. So to start off with, what actually is this? So this is a headphone amplifier that plugs into the output jack of your guitar. You then plug headphones in or in this case, so that you can hear what I'm doing, I'm plugged into the front of my interface with this cable. But the idea is, headphones go in there, that goes into your guitar, and then you can play. So looking at the controls, I was actually quite surprised when I unboxed this, as it does a lot more than I was initially expecting. I was kind of just expecting the three controls on the top and nothing more really. So along the top panel you've got an aux in so you can play along with songs from your phone or whatever, if your phone still has a headphone jack that is. Then you've got a gain control, a tone control and a volume control, as well as an extra control that you can push from side to side and push in and out, which controls either the effects built into the unit or the rhythm. Moving on to the side of it, you've got a power button that doubles as a channel selector and a tap tempo for the rhythm. So as you would have guessed from what I said earlier with the rhythm control, this does have a drum machine built into it. That's what you will have heard at the start of this video. Aside from that, you just have the main jack that goes into your guitar and a panel on the back where you can put in two AAA batteries which the device runs off. So, what does it sound like? So I've got it plugged into my Gretsch G2655 with Mojo Tron pickups. And we'll start on the clean channel with the gain around 3. The volume is all the way up and so is the tone. And I'll bump the gain up to around 5. And then bumping the gain all the way up to the maximum at 10. So that's the clean channel, signified by the green LED. And as you can hear, it stays pretty clean and doesn't really begin to break up even right at the way at the top. So we'll switch over to the red channel, which is the high gain channel, which, as you'd expect, isn't particularly high gain considering this is based on a Vox AC30. On the gain channel, with the gain around 3, it sounds like this. <laughs> turning that gain up to about 5. And then maxing that out all the way. there you go, you can get quite a wide range of AC inspired tones out of this thing. Now like I mentioned at the start when I was talking about the controls, this does also have inbuilt effects which are controlled by the switch on the end. So I'll just walk you through those quickly. Now you do have some control over these effects, but not the rate of the effects, only the intensity of the effects. So for things like the chorus, it means you've only got one speed. So I'll now max out the effect intensity so you can hear them. So starting off with the reverb. Moving on, the next one is tremolo. So the next one is chorus. And then we have 
delay. So there's a quick overview of the device and the effects it has in it and some of the tones you can get out of it. Now I did say at the start of the video there was a specific reason why I've chosen the AC30 one and that's because I own an AC15, so I was curious to see how accurate the recreation was. So what you're going to hear next is going to be a little bit of AB comparing the amp plug to my amp. So there we go, there's a little look at the AC30 amp plug. What did you think of the tones? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally I think this is quite a cool little device for the right person. If you are looking for something that you can just plug your headphones into and play silently then it is great and I think it does sound reasonably good considering it's only 40 quid. The only thing I am having a hard time with it is, is the fact that there are so many good small practice amps out on the market now. Things like the Positive Grid Spark or the Yamaha THR5 and 10 which are, yes, they're a bit more money. Well quite a bit more money. I think the Yamaha ones start at around £200, but 40 quid is a good chunk towards that. So my only concern is would you be better off putting that 40 quid away and putting it towards something like that? Because those all do have headphone outs on them so you can play silently with one of those as well and you can play it out loud and it has a bit more in terms of control over your tone and functionality. So I think for this one it entirely comes down to what you're looking for. So that's it for today. Make sure you check out the other episodes of Guitar Gubbins in the playlist above. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.